their attention span is really, really, really short. So I'm going to show you, pull up this document real quick and um, go to that first. I think it's this one. Stop screen share and now screen share again. This one. I think it's this one. Can you all see that? Okay. So this is basically what we're going to do. And I wanted to hit a couple things real quick. And there's a four point formula. Okay. For all these videos, we always, always follow this four point formula the hook, the build up, present value, and call to action. And this is all within 60 seconds or less. So I've done some as short as six seconds and have gotten leads from them. So People today are like this on their phone. They're just scrolling like this. And you've got to find a way to stop the scroll. And so that hook, that is like, um, this new product helps you lose 20 pounds in 30 days. That's a hook for somebody wanting to lose 20 pounds in 30 days. They're going to stop and go, what is that? How to make money every day using your cell phone. If someone's looking to make extra money and they have a cell phone, they're going to stop and go, what is this? So the hook has to be given in the first three seconds. If you don't, they're gone. If you start rambling, you know, I'm out here in Idaho and beautiful evening, the clouds are coming in, gone. <laughs> so you, the hook has to be really quick. And then build up is you build upon what you just said. And then present value, like why should they keep watching? There needs to be some value in there. And then the last one is CTA, which is call to action. And if you got the email today, you notice that I instructed to either have a short domain name, like mick.com or something like that, or a short Gmail address. You need one or, or the other of those at the end of your video for the call to action. So that's how you get a hold of the person. And tonight I'm going to use a web link, but uh, I'll show you how to do it with Gmail too. So that's all we're going to go over right here because the rest of this, you're going to see it in action. So I'm going to stop the screen share. And now this is the nerve wracking part. Oh, let me show you this. So I get these blue post-it notes. And Brig taught me years ago when speaking on stage to just give yourself some bullet points, you know, because I'm not a professional speaker. I fumble my way through things. So I just put them, I stick it on my phone right there. <laughs> so when I'm looking, you want to be looking at the green dot on your phone. Oh, this way. The green dot. That's where you want your eyes to go when you're videoing yourself. And so I have that right there so I can just kind of glance at it. So that's a little trick because very few people are talented enough to just grab their phone and hit those four points perfectly. Like, so I need help. <laughs> it works though. I do this. I post the video and people are contacting me going, hey, I want to know more. What is that? What are you talking about? So this is just a little hack right here. Okay. Now, the fun part, I'm going to actually make a video. And see, I'm already getting nervous, moving my hat around, looking around. Because <laughs> I'm human, man. I get just as nervous still. But it's fun, though, to do it. And it's a great skill to learn. So I'm going to try, let's see, share my screen, airplay. Boy, if I can pull this one off. This is really going to be good. Share. Okay, mirror. Oh my gosh, I did it. Yay. Okay, see that right here where it says cap cut? Okay, that's the app. This is the app that we're going to use. And the inside here is where we edit these videos. And this is the one I just did today, right here. And I'm going to show you how to put things on the screen because here's a here's a fact. The majority of people that watch these videos, they do it with the sound off. Yeah. So you have to have prompts on there or you're going to lose a lot of participation. 
And the reason is people might be at work, you know, and their boss is over there and they got their phone down here and they're just kind of reading these videos instead of listening to them. So the, the words on here are super important. And it's beyond just that, you know, when I touch it, the whole thing, every word that comes out of my mouth, I have capital. Okay. So that's what we're going to create right now, step by step. And you'll see how simple it is. And it's actually fun. You know, if you have some creative juices in your blood, it's fun to do it because you can customize it however you want to do it. So what I have to do now is do this, go to video and flip this. This is so weird. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if I can do this. And I, you know, you want to be aware of your background, too. Like, you don't want a big mound of garbage behind you. and You know, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. But, like, on this side, if I flip this way, there y'all are on the screen. Um, I've got my flag and my Lake Coeur d'Alene and my beautiful cross. So why is that important? Well, because I'm wanting to identify with people that are like-minded, like me. You know, my favorite hat is the faith, family, flag, and freedom. Well, this is a flag too. Behind me, I got, what is it? Matthew 6, 11, daily bread. You know, people pay attention to that stuff. And so you want to shoot these around things that are about you. Like I could be out fishing at the lake, you know? and shoot one and that would be appropriate because i'm so into fishing you know or golfing or with my kids or whatever just you want to be yourself in these videos because when you're yourself in these videos this is so weird because i'm seeing twice <laughs> when you're yourself in these videos you uh, attract people that are going to be like-minded to you okay now, if I was on here making these and dropping the F-bomb and, you know, all that kind of stuff, that's who I would attract. And there's a whole bunch of that out there, I promise you. And I'm not judging anybody or whatever. I'm just trying to get the point across to be you. Just be you, you know. Say what you're going to say on here and hit stop and then we'll do the editing and just be yourself. And if you do that, you're going to attract people that you have things in common with and they're going to want to hear more. Um, and it takes a while on videos like this because a lot of times you're getting these leads from people that they don't know you from Adam. But I will share this with you. Over the years, I can't tell you how many people I've sponsored into my businesses that I've built in the past from my YouTube channel. And every time, I finally connected with the person, whether it was an email, a phone call, a text, whatever it was. Every time, 100% of the time, they're like, you know, Mick, I don't know you, but I've been watching your videos for months and I feel like I know you and I want to work with you. So trust me, video is so powerful, ladies and gentlemen. It's so powerful. And for any of us on here, because I'm going to repel some people away and then other people are going to lean in closer to hear more. So we all have our unique gifts and talents and all that. I got to do this now because if I don't, <laughs> I'm never going to get this down. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> this is so weird to do it with 117 people watching me. Make we love you. <laughs> i love y'all too i'm just i'm human man I, i'm not comfortable with i love you more i'm an old confidence man, man. confidence <laughs> okay let me let me gather my thoughts on my four points here Are you making dollars on this thing that you have in your hand with connected marketing and Amazon on commission? No, you're not. 
you know, the reason you're not is because you're one of the first people in the world to hear about what I'm about to show you. So really pay attention to the end of this video because you're about to see the best kept secret in 2023. What you're going to find tonight is a full presentation. And the only way this full presentation can be viewed is with a private invite code that you're going to get at the end of this video. In this presentation, it's going to explain the most unique business model you've ever seen in your life. I mean, you've never seen it before. I can guarantee you that it's a complete different paradigm shift. So what you're going to want to do is go right here to this link, justaskmick.com. And when you go to that link, it's going to give you the invite code and you're going to be able to view the full presentation. And then I'll be seeing you on the inside. Okay, that's good enough. Not the best. Like if we were not doing this, I'd probably delete that one and do it again get my rhythm down, but it's good enough for now. And it's good enough to do our tutorial. And it's probably good enough to get some new leads from too. So here it is. Okay. So I'm going to go add. And this, remember, this is the cap cut app. And it's a free app. Don't upgrade. They'll try and like upsell you to the you know, pro version or whatever, you don't need it. I just use the free one and it works fine. And the first thing I do is I scroll all the way to the end because it leaves a black like ending right here. And then I click delete. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to audio. Nope, I'm going to go to text. Yeah, and then right here, the first one to the right of the line, see where it says auto captions? I'm going to put auto captions. And then I'm going to click start. This thing's so cool. It's going to grab what I just said and put it in there in words. I mean, I can't believe this is a free app. So there it is. They're all in there already. Look at that. Okay. Now, I'm going to tap on those again, and what I like to do is use this font, so I'm going to go to style, and like, you see why you're going to have to watch this a couple times and stop and fast forward, that's why we're recording this. Yeah, I'm recording. Okay, style, I'm going to put this first one over to the left, that white T, I'm going to tap on that one, and then... I'm going to go underneath here and on the size, I'm going to move, scroll this bar. And I like about 14, 12 to 14. I'm going to go 14 on this one. This is, is really going to show up good because I'm wearing a black shirt. And sometimes depending on what you're wearing, it doesn't show up as good. So now I got that. Now I'm going to go to font. And then I'm going to look, I like classic two. Is my favorite one on font. There it is, classic two. And then I'm gonna hit the check mark. And now that's done. So that thing's just gonna go through there and put what I said. And when I said just ask Mick, I'll probably have to edit that because it likes to put M I C, but it's M I C K. Uh, that's gonna be towards the end. And that's probably the only edit I'm going to have to make as far as spelling. Uh, it did say that. that's good enough because that's not what they're going to look at to get to the site. It's going to be a big banner we're going to put on there. Okay, so that part's already done. Now, the other reason I like to use um, the captions it's people can watch it silently and still get the message. And the other reason is it, um, it shows me, see when my finger starts pointing, boom, right there? Okay. So what do I want to do right there? I was talking about one of these, which is a cell phone. So now I'm going to go to add text. 
And I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna get a cell phone. And I'm gonna put that cell phone and then I'm gonna get my thumbs. Hey, wait a minute, it's not sharing what I'm sharing on here. You're still froze on the previous screen, Mick. Okay, uh, let's see. What do I need to do? Maybe, hmm. Do you see me? Like, does it say, are you making dollars on this thing? Yes. We okay. see you, but if you were scrolling on your phone, we wasn't seeing anything live that you're doing on the okay. phone. Okay. Um, so let me go stop share. And then I'm going to share again. Okay, I got to do that again. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now, see the square with the phone? I'm going to put both thumbs on the screen and then I'm going to drag it and make it bigger. And I'm going to put it right above my finger. Okay. So that's one thing. And then I'm also going to go to style and I'm going to go to animation. And I'm going to select pop up. So it, it just makes it look a little better when you add a pop up to it. And then I'm also going to go to audio sounds. And I'm going to type in the search bar at the top, Ding. And then click search. And the one I like to use is the one with the green dot to the right, the Dean bell tone. So I'm going to tap that and add that Dean bell tone. And then I'm also going to increase the volume on that thing to full throttle. And now when that phone pops up, oh, my sound is on. Just a second. Okay, let's see if that does. I guess it's because I'm um, screen sharing. I'm not getting the audio, but that's okay. Anyway, what I was trying, the point I was trying to make is when I add that ding, when that cell phone pops on the screen, it goes ding, and it's just. It's an animation to keep people engaged. What we're trying to do is keep their attention to get through the video, which, you know, the attention spans get shorter and shorter every day. But just doing little things like this increases that. And now, see, I had that phone pop in. I also want to. Ah, ah. Okay, there we go. I also want to make it jiggle. Like I want it to be moving instead of just sitting there. So I've got it on the phone again. And you can tell whatever you're working on is in that little outlined, white outlined box. Okay. So now what I want to do is. Add, I want to go to animation, and then I want to go to loop. I'm trying to say all this slow, so when you're watching the replay, you can, you can get it. Uh, let's see. I wonder if it's, uh, yeah, it's still tracking. Okay. Okay. So now 
I'm going to add in right here. I'm going to add text and I'm going to add in connective marketing because connective marketing is a buzzword, you know, that we have at Stoplight Go that a lot of people haven't heard that term before. I had never heard of it. Even, you know, being in the industry, I had never heard of that term. I think I'm actually going to put that under. Okay, so now I'm going to stretch that out a little and I'm going to kind of tilt it. And then I'm going to put a background. So I'm going to go to style and I'm going to hit background and I'm going to go red like that. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to put it above my head a little bit. So when I say connective marketing, that's going to pop up on the screen. And then you see the bar down here that when I slide it to the left, it makes it pop up. So I can adjust how long do I want that to be on there by doing this right here. I can adjust it. If I want it just a blip, you know, I'll go like that. And it'll just pop up there and right off. Which actually, that's pretty good. Because I want it to go, what was that? Because if it's just on there for a long time, it doesn't make them, like, watch the video again. So when you do blips like that, a lot of times when the video is done, they'll hit it again. Like, what did that say? Because they hadn't heard that term before. So you, it increases your views. You'll watch it over and over again. So connective marketing. And then right here, see, I just drag in the text box till I get to Amazon. And now I'm going to go uh, add text. I'm going to go Amazon on commission. And I'll capitalize the C. You know what? I want to put that under too. You just, you can't mess this up, ladies and gentlemen. You just use it, okay? Now, because it was red on the previous one, I want things changing all the time. So now I'm going to tap it, and I'm going to go style again. And on background, I'm going to make it white. And then on text, I'm going to hit text, and I'm going to make the text. Um, let's go red. So it just, it flip-flop. So I had a red background, a white text. So when the video is playing, you'll see it, it like, it just, it keeps people engaged. And then Amazon on commission, people are like, what, what is that? So that one, I want to be kind of short too. I want it to just pop in there and get them curious. Like, what is he talking about? Yep, there we go. See how simple this is? It doesn't take long to get this, you guys. It doesn't take long. Okay, you're not, you know, the reason you're not is because you're one of the first people in the world. Okay, so right here. <laughs> It's so weird to look at yourself and all your ugly faces. Look at that. <laughs> Let me see where I say world. Okay, so I'm going to add text. And then I'm going to go to, I'm going to find the world, the globe. See how much fun you can have with this? Now watch, on the globe, I don't want a background. So I'm going to go yes. and then. I am going to hit style again. And then I'm going to hit, see on the far left of all those T's where there's that circle with the line through it. I tap that and it takes the background off. So I'm probably going to just pop that up there like this. And then that's in there. And I want that one to be a quick blip too. That's just kind of a fun. Okay, I can see I said world earlier. So the timing on these, you got to play with it a little bit and then drag the thing over. So if, if you if you get the timing right, these videos are really entertaining.
Okay, just a little bit more to the left, a little earlier. There. Okay, that's good. Video, best kept secret of 2023. See how it's, it's, it's got a comma, 2023. So I'm gonna tap text and I'm gonna tap that. And I'm gonna go over here. Uh-oh, what did I do? I don't know what I did, but it's not what I was wanting to say. <laughs> Um, number sign. I think I hit, um, they have AI on here, which I don't mess with, but not to say you can or whatever, but okay, tap. And I want to edit that text. So I have it hit text again, and this one, and this one. Okay, there we go. Backspace. And now I'll just put, put it back in there. Zero, two, three. Done. Okay, best kept secret. I kind of like, best kept secret. See, I can read my lips right there. Okay, I like that best kept secret. That is curiosity. Like what, what's the best kept secret? That's what you want. Best kept secret. And that one, I'm going to go style. I'm going to go background. Let's go, how about black this time? And then I'm definitely got to shorten it up a little bit. Yes, kept secret. There we go. That one's in there. And I'll drag it and shorten it up a little bit. And then what you're going to find now is a full presentation. The only way a full presentation viewed as with a private invite code. Right there. Private invite code. That's another one that is like curiosity. What's a private invite code? And I'll probably do it like this. Just to just to mix it up. Invite. Or I'll show you something even better. I'll go like this, private, and then backspace, style. I'm going to go white. And then let's make that bigger and put it up a little higher because I'm going to do something different now. So that one's done. And now I'm going to add text again and then go invite code in a different colored box. I'm getting fancy, huh? <laughs> this old sixty year old rednecks getting fancy, man. Um, oh, there it is. Invite code. So obviously I want that background different. I think red style background red. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm gonna kind of overlap it a little bit just to just to make it a little bit different. That, like you can't do this wrong. You just wanna get the right information out there. So I'll go, I'll let private start first and then I'll come in later on invite code. Okay. Paradigm shift. That's another one of our buzzwords. Okay. Add text. And you'll see when this is all done, how it just all flows together. And I might even put an explanation on this. And let's change the background to white. And then the text to red. Done. And I'll shorten that up. 
that. Okay, so right here when my finger starts to go up, that's where I'm going to put my web address. I'm going to put just ask Nick. Now, if you don't own your own custom domain name and a short one, easy to spell and easy to remember, you could use a Gmail address here that's short, easy to spell, and easy to remember. Either one works. I've done it both ways. I have a Gmail address called the bass gig at gmail.com so i put that up there before and then my gmail dings and then from there i have a pre-written message i copy and paste and send them to my stoplight go page to fill in the form so now i'm going to of course shrink that down and this one i'm going to turn this way because i want them to really be able to read this and i i like this one to be in red I really want them to see this. So I'm gonna go back to style and I'm gonna go background and I'm gonna go red. And then on the text, I'm gonna go white. So that's very easy to read. It's easy to spell. Um, and that's where I'm pointing them to. This is the CTA at the end, the call to action, okay? So I do that. And now I'm gonna leave that up for the remainder of the video. So I'm gonna drag this all the way to the end. Not that far. Right there. And I want that to like come in. So I'm gonna put uh, style and I'm gonna go to animation. And I want pop up. See how it does that? So it's a little different when you watch, watch how it pops up. Okay. Yep, that's good. Now, the last thing I want to do on that is really highlight that link. So I'm going to go in just a little bit, maybe about right here. Might have froze again, Max. Uh-oh, thank you for that heads up. I'm over here to blah, blah, blah. Let's see, what did I do last time? I stopped share, and then I started share. <laughs> I wonder why it freezes up. Um, oh, AirPlay, share. This again. Hey, Mick, when you're sharing your video, you should be able to click a button on Zoom that says at the it's at the bottom that that says uh, like share sound as well or something like that so that whatever you're sharing through Zoom we can hear it on our side. Oh boy, I'm gonna figure that out after. It's just a little this little button when it shows like your desktop and all that stuff. Okay. Um, so so for future reference. Okay, that's good to know. See, I'm still learning too, man. That's great information. So now I'm going to add text again. This one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go to, um, okay, that one's already done. I need a new text. There we go. Text. And I'm going to do some arrows. Let's see. How about this one? No, not a heart. I want it about the width of the length. That's probably good enough. And then I'll drag this down. And of course, on that one, I want to go to style and get rid of the red. There we go. So I'm going to put those up there and make them bigger. I want to almost touch the top of that. About like that. And I'm also going to do animation and go pop up. And then I'm going to go on, see I'm on animation still, and then over underneath on the left, see where it says loop, I'm going to hit loop. And then I'm looking for the one, hey, why can't I scroll up? Hmm, sometimes all of this doesn't work. Oh, no. 
all of this doesn't work when I'm on Zoom for some reason, but there's one called Jiggle and it makes those arrows just kind of go like this. And it's down here, but it won't let me scroll up. So I'm gonna use just, uh, what's this other one? Strobe border, what is that do? Yeah, I don't like that one. How about this? That was okay. Okay. And then these I want all the way till the end. You're frozen again. Well, what the heck? Okay. There you go. Okay, now I'm at the beginning. I wonder if I hit play. I, it's almost like it's delayed. Let's see what happens if I hit play. Hey, Mick, one thing you should do, if you look at the very top of your... Uh, Hold on, Kelvin. Hmm. All right, hey Mick, on at the okay, very hold on just a second. Let me finish this, and then I'm, we're going to go to live interactive. I can't multitask, man. <laughs> okay, so now see up here in the upper right hand corner at the very top, there's that arrow pointing up. Now, when I hit that and tap it, it's downloading onto my phone, so it's going right onto my camera roll. Uh-oh, I put something in there that was a pro feature. Okay, anyway, I'll fix that after, but it'll go on to my camera roll, and then I'll be ready to um, share that thing on whatever social media platforms that I want to share it on, and that's going to be part two tomorrow. I'm going to wait on this video, and then tomorrow when we fire this thing up, I'm going to actually post it and show you the three hashtag styles that you need to post with it and why, and the ones not to post. And so you get the right eyeballs onto your beautiful content that you just created.